Hi, I'm Phyllis Lang, and welcome to Nightwear. This video demonstrates the detailed Planet Ephemeris report, and it shows you how to find the recent impact site on Jupiter that occurred during the week of July 19. First, I need to open a detailed Planet Ephemeris report for the planet Jupiter. Next, I need to set the calculation times. For this example, I'll calculate from midnight on July the 26th until 6 a.m. on July 26, and I'll calculate each hour. Now that I've calculated an ephemeris report for Jupiter, I'll stretch the view so that it fills the screen. I'm looking for the longitude of the central meridian for System 2. The impact site on Jupiter is located at 210 degrees longitude System 2, so I'll scroll down through the report looking for the time at which the longitude of the central meridian in System 2 is close to 210 degrees. It looks like that occurred around 3 a.m. Here it shows 219 degrees. Again, this occurred at 3 a.m. at my viewing location of Raleigh, North Carolina, which is 3 a.m. Eastern Time, and in this case, Eastern Daylight Time. Now that we know that the impact site is crossing the central meridian of Jupiter, at around 3 a.m. local time. We might like to refine the calculation a bit to determine when we could begin viewing the site and when that opportunity might depart from us. To do that, we need to refine the calculation times. So I'll start at 2 a.m. and end at 4 a.m. And I'll calculate approximately every 15 minutes. Again, I'll refresh the report and stretch it into view. And I'll scroll down through the report, and I can see that the central meridian at 2 a.m. is about 184 degrees. This is going to be fairly far around on the limb and might be difficult to view. But at 2.14, things are beginning to rotate around into a more favorable viewing area. Scrolling down past 3 a.m., we can see that by 3.12 a.m., the central meridian has rotated around to 227 degrees. This probably is still viewable in most amateur size scopes. That's all for this video. I hope you found it useful and that it helps you to find the impact site on Jupiter and that you can get more from Deep Sky Planner 4 in your general planetary observing. Thanks for watching.